What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer. Um, I looked at Rocket Raid Raptor like a month ago, I think, but I I, I kind of looked back at it again. It's you know it's a deck that I just kind of love to play, and um, I'm actually kind of re envisioning it one more time. Um, there are so many bricks in the deck, um, and I was running the Red Eyes Fusion Package, as I'm sure most people do, but in a deck that has you know. You know, rank up magic force um, is a brick. Uh, fog blade can be. Uh, I mean, you just you need a lot of play starters in hand. Like one normally isn't going to get it done, right? You probably need two. Uh, so as you're looking down the list, like this can be a brick. This can be a brick. And what I wanted to do was just reduce that. This can uh, as much as possible. So I took out three cards to brick from the main deck, and you know. Um, I replaced it with uh, IP Mascarena and um, Nightmare Unicorn. So, is Nightmare Unicorn better than Red Eyes Dark Dragoon? Well, of course not. But in the for the sake of consistency, I feel like overall it's much better. So, um, this isn't like a, like, oh, if you have these cards in your hand, this is how you combo. This is literally like random test hands. And I just want to show you like how I would attack this. Because this looks a little strange right now. I don't have a normal summon yet, because you definitely want to with the Kage... The Kage Toki and Tage. <laughs> this card right here, this card, the Kage. Let's call it that. So I'm literally going to explain this step by step. So obviously, Click Launch is probably going to be the number one thing here. And luckily, in this hand specifically, um, I did have Called by the Grave. I do run Cross Out Designator as well. You kind of just have to, or else the deck isn't playable. Um, okay, so I can go ahead and switch that out into a Striker Dragon um, because I want to get this back to my hand and normal summon it so that I can you know use this effect, which I'm going to be able to do here. All right, in the boot sector launch. And the boot sector launch is also just going to be a target for your rocket tracer to destroy. So you can target itself to add a rocket from your monster from your graveyard. So it's okay. You're going to go ahead and just destroy itself and go ahead and grab the rocket tracer. Uh, okay, so we can normal summon that. That's going to trigger the Kage. Kage is going to be a free special summon there, which is pretty nice. Then I can activate boot sector launch. I'm um, in the same chain. It doesn't really matter, though. Um, you can use the effect of Tracer to destroy a card to special summon a, um, a rocket from the deck, which of course is going to be a rank 4, um, which is pretty nice. And since you have this in your hand, like now in my mind I'm thinking I 100% have to go for Borlod Savage Dragon, right? Alright, so I can go ahead and use these two rank 4s because it doesn't require Wing Beast Monsters, just two 4s, uh, which is the only reason this deck works. And I can go ahead and search a Singing Lanius. I just have the control of face up Exceed monster. I can go, it's a free special summon. And now I can, um, now I have the, you know, the prerequisites to go into the Wise Strix, which is definitely a good thing. Wise Strix effect to special summon a Wing Beast, a dark, a level 4 dark Wing Beast monster from the deck. And also I can trigger Parallel Exceed since there's a Link monster or a Link Zone open. So I can get another rank 4. Just saving this again for the um, Borload Savage Dragon just a little bit later on. There's a tremendous amount of nuances in this deck um, when it comes to zone placement, and I'll try my best to um, point those kind of things out. All right, so these are obviously just a bunch of rank fours now. Um, just you always want to make sure that whatever you special summon out, you know, um, it, almost 99% of the time it's going to be mimicry that you use it to overlay because that way you can attach and send it to the graveyard. And that's going to search me out a Strangolanius because later on it's going to give me. Two rank fours because it's a free special summon. Plus, it brings one out. That's going to go ahead and trigger Y Strix, of course, since a dark um, or since a Raid Raptor Exine monsters effect was activated. Now we can use the effect of Mimicry to banish itself to search any Raid Raptor card, and we can search a Pain Lanius. Um, this card is good for synchro plays, actually, if you can believe that. It level manipulates, and um, it actually stays at level, so you can combine it with Rocket Tracer if you want. Most of the time, it's just going to be a body on the board. Um, so now we can use the effect of the Soul Shave Force. Um, in my experience, anything, any target off of Soul Shave always goes into the middle zone of either one. Uh, I know that's kind of like a cardinal sin because of Relinquish Anima, but I, I, I don't think anybody's playing that card right now. Uh, we can go into number 24, so it's a Book of Moon for an extra deck monster, which is just more than, it's decent, uh, but more importantly, you know, Spring Alliance is going to be able to use the effect, especially on another four from the graveyard. Then we can use the Y Strix um, and the Four Strix, combine those into Rusty Bardige, Rusty's effect to send a Phantom Knight's monster, which can be Raider's Wing, 
and to set a speller trap. And the only reason I sent the extender is because I did have this in my hand. Um, so I didn't need to send the boots because I was going to search these two things out anyways, right? Um, there we go. I can go ahead and convert the Rocket Tracer and the Parallel Exceed and go into a Borlord Savage Dragon, equipping the Y Strix, um, you know, from the graveyard there. And since I control a Dark Monster, <laughs> I can go ahead and use this effect, bring out another one of his buddies. And there we go. I can bring out the Sinking Lanius. Doesn't really matter as long as it's a four. Then I can use the effect of Pain Lanius, targeting the Singing Lanius. All you have to do is target a, a Raid Raptor monster. Um, then it becomes that level. You also take damage to the lowest of the attack and defense, so just a 100 there, which is pretty nice. Then I can go ahead and turn those into a Dark Rebellion XC Dragon. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I have not special summoned the Raider's Wing just quite yet. That was that extender I was talking about. And of course, those are two non-Link monsters, meaning I can go into an IP Mascarena. Um, so either you can like wait to use one of these effects to combine it with IP or the Requiem actually um, When your opponent activates a monster effect you can attach material from this card negate the activation And then you can special summon one exceed monster from your graveyard So you can also use the IP for that target um, So this is an Omni negate. This is going to turn into two monster negates um, This is a pop and then this is going to shuffle something back. This is a monster negate uh, So yeah, that's obviously quite good. I have a called by the grave too assuming I didn't use it during my turn during my combo for my opponent's hand trap and everything from there is pretty good so yeah, that was just that was the first combo um, we'll look at a completely different kind of hand um, this has nothing to do with rockets uh, we can do classic raid raptor stuff right um, Dynatherium is a free special summon turn zero obviously this card is much better um, theoretically you don't have to worry about it too much but uh, yeah it's it's kind of just necessary for the deck um, and the one thing I'll say that put this in perspective, and I'll actually just go back a little bit. Sorry, that was like pretty fast. Um, with Dynatherium, like I don't know for sure, but I added extra copies of Dynatherium instead of the um, the Red Eyes package. So this could have just been a Red Eyes Fusion. This could have been a Dark Magician uh, or a Red Eyes Black Dragon. More than likely it is. I think I only had one copy of Dynatherium. Uh, so this combo would have never happened. I would have passed Churn otherwise. Okay, so I can go ahead and combine those two into a Forstrix. Forstrix effect to go ahead and get rid of that. Go into a Singing Lanius. Free special summon. I did have the Raider's Wing in the graveyard. I sent it off of Tribute. Um, I used to send the Mimicry all the time, but well, like I said, almost 90% of the time you want to special summon Mimicry because um, when you go into the next uh, four stricks, you're searching two instead of just one. So you're getting all access to all your monsters, um, if that makes sense. I'll try to... So like this is going to come out and the, this is going to overlay. So you're getting one search off the four stricks and one off of Mimicry. Versus if you had sent this first, you wouldn't be getting that. All right, so we can go ahead and overlay those. I can you know, send the Mimicry. I always like to overlay with Raider's Wing because it, it doesn't get banished and you can use it for follow-up next turn. I can search the um, Strangle Lanius there. Then Force Tricks effect obviously activates because I activated that monster effect. Soul Shave Force is going to bring this back and I can go into a different kind of Omni game. This is going to be Infinity. So just because I didn't have access to you know, Raid Raptor stuff doesn't mean I don't have Omni Gates. And like I talked about, pretty much 90% or like almost all the time or like a good habit is your soul shave target is going to go into one of these middle zones so you don't mess yourself up later. Mimicry can search. This is going to be a body for later. The Pain Lanius. Pain Lanius can um, you know, target the singing and that's going to be a free special summon there. And I can turn that into an IP Mascarena. Those can go into a Rusty Bardige. Rusty's effect to go ahead and send the boots. And there we go. Boots can banish itself. Um, in this case, it's kind of wonky because I did have the, um, you know, the like one of these before, like in my opening hand. So I don't even think I'm going to be able to get use out of Shade Brigadine. But I mean, you can't be too mad because you take a look at the inborn here in a second. That's going to bring something back. That's going to be the um, Singing Lanius. Those can go into Rebellion. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the same end board, different monsters. Um, and this is just, again, this is just kind of sitting there. I do have the Effect Veiler too, but I'm not discarding anything off of Dragoon, so I still get an extra negate simply because I'm not playing Dragoon, which also showcases, you know, some of the usability, the 
the usability. Is that a word? <laughs> um, anyways, that was combo number two. Hopefully that was kind of gave you a better understanding. And also I will show you guys some gameplay videos. So this is a match against Evil Twin. Nothing too crazy. I may do like an in-depth gameplay video for this, but just to show you some of those like values, some of those things I was talking about, you know, in real application. He's got double in perm and an ash, so he's probably feeling pretty good. Uh, I feel decent enough because I do see the forbidden droplets here, meaning he's not going to be able to use the effect of Trouble Sunny. And I can also send the Mimicry, and the Mimicry can give me the search later. Uh, okay, so he goes for the Imperm there. I will go ahead and try to search. He has the Ash Blossom, of course. And I just have to pass Jern. Um, unfortunately, I can't search in the main phase too, because if it destroys a monster by battle, let's use um, search the quick play uh, rank up magic spell, which is pretty funny. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to use the effect again. He'll go ahead and infinite impermanence there. And this time I think I actually am going to be able to search this out. An, eight, an, um, an 1800 attack body is uh, not great, but it's decent. Uh, okay, so I could have searched there. I could have, um, you know, also used Parallel to Exceed. And all he had was Friend Droplets, but he doesn't have anything to send off of it. So literally through like a billion forms of disruption, I was able to kind of work through it, which is nice. Um, this is the other game against Evil Twins. He actually let me go first. I was kind of surprised. Uh, this is a... I can work with this hand, assuming he doesn't have any hand traps, but it is Evil Twin, so... I'm almost like 90% of the time, or... I mean, they run a ton of hand traps, of course. He top decks a triple tactical talent, which is obviously very nice. Um, he goes for his own cross-eyed designator. I can't let... Well, I could let this effect go through, but... Um, I don't want him to be able to go to Evil Twin stuff, because then he starts drawing, and eh, it's just not so good. So he does get a pop, you know, with the Conquistador, some pretty good draws. I'm going to attempt to use the effect of Striker Dragon once again. There we go. And then I can activate Boot Sector Launch. He's going to use Conquistador, um, which is fine. Uh, he does have the Ash Blossom, so he goes ahead and uses it there. So a lot of forms of disruption for this guy. But it's actually not enough. I can search out the Singing Lanius. I can search out the Raider's Wing. This isn't doing anything, of course. And there we go. I can go ahead and go into the Four Strix. Just like that. Boom. Go for the Soul Shape Force. Um, I think I'm locked into Darks, but that's okay. I can at least pop. The hand was kind of wonky because I had like all of my one ofs in my hand, so there wasn't really anything to search out at some point. I did pop the back row. And this is just probably going to turn into an Ultimate Falcon because I don't know what out they realistically have to it. So I don't want him to be able to Link Summon. Uh, he's going to get over Rusty, but Phantom Knight's Fog Blade can bring it right back. Um, the Shade Brigand even helped me go into a 4 next turn. And pretty much all I'm thinking about is just going into Arc Rebellion XZ Dragon to end this, because there is going to be a tremendous amount of attack here on the board. Uh, he did have another Ash Blossom. Um, he missed his Akero target, but uh, that's okay. I still had the rank 4, so it didn't really matter all that much. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, Despia, which is just a couple more, literally. All right, so he does have the Ash Blossom there, uh, but I have Crossout Designator specifically for that because this deck cannot play through that many hand traps. It looked like it a lot for Evil Twin, but normally, you know, your plays would have been done right there. There we go. Pain Lanius can special summon itself. I can go into the Y Strix. Luckily, I had the Paralytic Seed in hand. This card's insane. I already used Mimicry, so I had to summon you know, out the Raider's Wing, which is you know, just fine. And the Raider's Wing can bring itself back. Rusty. And we'll see what I end up going into. It is going to be in a Cyber Dragon Infinity. Can use the effect to set Boots. Boots can search me the rank up magic spell. And I can also use the effect of Strangle Lanius. Lanius can bring a body back to go into IP Masquerina. Again, this would like kind of be Dragoon, but I feel happier about, you know, this board here. It goes for the Kaiju. That's okay, I still have a pop, and I still have another way to shuffle a card back into the deck. Plus the uh, effect dealer in hand. Can't be too mad at that. And I'm going to... He's going to fusion summon. I'm going to um, pop this card, because he does have one protection uh, with the branded, so... But he doesn't have two protections. He's going to special summon the Despia. He's going to fusion summon here. He's going to try to chain block, I'm pretty sure, but... Okay, I'll use Dark Requiem, and then I'll just negate this other one so it can't attack. And I, it brings back an Exeed monster, so I'm just going to bring back that Infinity from last turn. So that's obviously very cool. Infinity's back. I can, you know, put that back in so I can attack. 
And uh, yeah, that was way more than enough for Lethal. Uh, okay, and then just the last duel here. It's going to be like a, a rank 4 deck. Nothing too crazy. I just wanted to show that you can work through Disruption. A 60 card deck. <laughs> Okay, it's like an evil swarm inspector border. <laughs> Why not? Um, I did use Dinotherium. He chains Time Thief just so he could bring something back from the graveyard, but all right. He goes to um, for the effect bailer on the four strikes, but okay, that's fine. I'm going to be able to search a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm just full combo there, like through the infinite impermanence. It, it made no difference to me, really. Soul Shave, I can bring back here, and I haven't gone into Darks yet, I'm not locked into it, and I still had plenty more plays, and if he did have like an Ash in hand, I still had the answer for that, so that was pretty cool. So hopefully that was a, a decent look at what I was doing there, um, other than that, that's going to do it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.